The following is a special presentation of ESPN on ABC. In the life of number one, the North Carolina Tar Heels, seven days ago, they held North Carolina State to 13 first half points and they powered their way to an easy win. Not so easy Wednesday in Atlanta. It was a one point game. Tyler Hansbrough and the Tar Heels stay unbeaten and they are still the number one team in the nation with the Maryland Terrapins coming to town. We welcome you to ESPN College Basketball presented by KFC. The Maryland Terrapins versus the North Carolina Tar Heels an ACC conference game. Uh, one of the grand settings in all of college hoops, ladies and gentlemen. The Dean Dome, as it's known here in Chapel Hill. We welcome you. I'm Brett Musburger. As always, a pleasure to be with the coach, Steve Levin. Laddie, how good are these Tar Heels this year? 18-0. This is a well-oiled machine, Brent, and when you look at it, it's an experienced team. Last year, they make a run to the Elite Eight before bowing out to Georgetown. This year, they have hit the ground running. It starts on the sidelines with a Hall of Fame coach, one of the best in the business in Roy Williams. Then you step on the court, you got the beat beeper, the road runner. When you look at Mr. Lawson, having an excellent year, making good decisions, he spearheads the Tar Heel attack. And down under, Brent, they got Ty Hansen. Bro, 21 and 10 on the year. He controls the basket area. A rugged, low post presence. Paul Bunyan strength. Now, Maryland, are they poised for a possible upset? Well, Gary Williams, no slouch himself on the sideline. The national championship on his resume. They're going to need great guard play, a collective ego, and airtight in terms of turnovers and getting a good shot on every possession because the Tar Heels average 98 a game at home here in Chapel Hill in the Dean Dome. I know how much you like dancing. Folks, when we come back, we're going to show you a candidate for Dancing with the Stars. He can bring it for the Tar Heels. And we will be back. We'll join Carl Ravage right after these messages. This lush expanse of green does more than beautify our world. Trees help clean the air of carbon dioxide, a major greenhouse gas. As North America's largest recycler, last year alone, Waste Management recycled enough paper to save over 41 million trees. From everyday collection to environmental protection, think green. Think Waste Management. Now take the bandages off. You're really blurry. If you could see death before it happened, oh my God. would you be able to stop it? Jessica Alba. It's going to keep happening. The Eye. Ready PG-13, February 1st. If I had to describe our founder, Jim Cook, first thing I'd say is the guy's crazy. He pours his beer, then he gets it in his nose. He practically chews the beer. Don't use that. You look at him, what the heck he know about beer? He don't look like a beer person. I'm constantly walking back in the brewery, finding Jim sneaking taste out of the fermenters. I am obsessed with the taste of Samuel Adams because beer's not a job, beer is my life. But we have a lot in common, I might add, because they're both good looking. Nothing we can do about that. Most people go through life following Plan A. It's predictable, it's expected, it's routine. But what if you're not a Plan A kind of person? Welcome to Plan B from Brother. Our new color laser printers and all-in-ones are for those who make the better choice, not the obvious one. With more performance, more speed, more affordability. So make the smarter decision. We call it Plan B. Brother, at your side. They pick up touchdowns, pick up the pucks, and pick up their teams. Enterprise salutes NCAA student-athletes for picking us all up. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. If you could get protection like this, for the same price as this, why wouldn't you? It's a 
same with car insurance. If you can get State Farm's unbeatable good neighbor protection for the same or less than the other guys, why wouldn't you? With discounts up to 40%, you could. Get a quote and start saving today. We gotta talk. You're right. We need a new TV. Text Chase for your credit card balance and decide what to spend in seconds. It's perfect. Real-time info matters. Chase what matters. What is that? Let's just remind me that we got games on Sunday now. You don't think 10 minutes from now when we park in front of a giant arena that won't remind you? ABC, your NBA destination for a doubleheader Sunday, January 27th. This is the Waste Management Pre-Game Report. Tyler Hansborough getting set. North Carolina, Maryland comes up in just minutes. He's averaging 21.6 points per game. Ten rebounds leads the conference. Carolina leading the nation at the top as they are ranked number one. The problem for North Carolina and Roy Williams, Hansborough stands only six feet nine inches tall. Welcome everyone, I'm Carl Ravitch and that has allowed teams to score inside against them. They don't have that defensive presence that they need. For instance, like a Georgetown team does. 7-2, Roy Hibbert is the guy in the middle. They give up only 56 points a game. By comparison, Carolina allows 72 points a game. Today, Georgetown against Notre Dame. There's Hibbert at 7-2 with a rolling hook shot. 15-11, Hoyas. Moments later, Georgetown by three. Hibbert is unstoppable at this point. 13 in the first half, he scores 21 in the game. Luke Herringood, he was the high scorer for Notre Dame. He also took an elbow to the cheek and down he went. He'd leave but return later he scored 13. In a nutshell, Notre Dame was dazed and confused all day as Hibbert dominates and Georgetown wins 84 to 65. Also in the Big East, Villanova and Syracuse, Dante Green, Jim Beheim trying to knock off the ranked team. Villanova's 21 in the country. Green, a little floater inside on the dome floor. Cuse is down by three. Later in the second, trailing by five, Scoop Jardine. No, Ricky Jackson offensive board. No, Anuaku misses and then gets it to go. The Cuse is within a three-point field goal, but back the other way, Corey Fisher lines up from three as the shot clock winds down. Nova gets a bunch from their good shooting guard, Scotty Reynolds, 25 of them, and they win 81 to 71. LSU taking on Vanderbilt. We know one thing about Kevin Stallings' team, they can shoot from deep. Shane Foster, better than anyone on the team, and arguably one of the best in the country. Vandy up 46-33. Foster, another three. Moved himself perhaps to the top of the first round as far as NBA draft picks go. Foster's mom, grandparents were there. Everyone from the family enjoying this show. Vandy goes up by 20 after the Jermaine Beal finish. And Vanderbilt goes on and wins 92-76. Gordon for Vandy goes for 18 and three steals. Vatek and Georgia Tech set Greenberg and the Hokies. Three game winning streak into Atlanta. Deron Washington to the rack and a foul. Take one more look. Ghani Lawal got jumped over. Lead to 10 after the free throw. Matt Causey the drive off the window. Georgia Tech with a nice win, 81 to 70, and Causey puts up a career high 30 points. All right, we mentioned defense, certainly something on the mind of North Carolina. They're trying to improve that. Tonight you'll see two teams that are also trying to get better. That's Florida and Kentucky. That is where Reese Davis and the game day crew are. That game's tonight. They're looking ahead to our game, North Carolina and Maryland. Guys? Rowdy Reptiles ready for Kentucky. The Gators are going to try to beat the Wildcats for the seventh straight time and become just the second team ever to pull off that feed. 9 o'clock Eastern time on ESPN, 8 o'clock for college game day. We're getting set for Maryland, North Carolina. Tar Heels off to an 18-0 start. Their best is the 85-86 season. Has some close shaves. What have we learned about Carolina so far? Well, I think we've seen that Tyler Hansborough is the best player in the country. He's been terrific on both ends of the floor. I love the way Danny Green off the bench has been playing for them, but this is a team that really needs to step it up defensively. They've had some lapses, but they've been able to escape at Clemson and Georgia Tech. They've learned how to be survivors and win those close games on the road like they did at Clemson, like they did at Georgia Tech. 
That, to me, is why I think this team's destined to win a national championship. Tyler Hansbrough wants to do what Sean May did. Get it done, and I think Roy Williams knows that. I think that's exactly what they've learned about their mental toughness level. I think the close games they've been in this year were games that they probably would have lost last year. But I agree with Hubert. Their defense has got to be top level. That when Carolina guards, when they really get out with the mindset to stop somebody, nobody can stop them because they score off their defense better than anybody in America. They won the close games. Three of them decided by eight points or fewer. The Tar Heels coming into the weekend as one of the three remaining undefeated teams. We are back at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. College game day from the O-Dome getting set for Florida and Kentucky on ESPN. Hi right, guys, thank you. Footnote on the Carolina defense. They are 227th in the nation in points allowed at over 71. Carolina's got an 18 game winning streak. The longest in school history is 37. A lot of talk about unbeaten. If they run the table through the ACC tournament and win a national title, they'll break that record. They'll have won 40 in a row. Let's get to the game. Brent and Steve Lavin. Jump and shout, boys and girls, Junior Danny Green's high hopping torso twist and moves excites the crowd here at the Dean Dome. They wouldn't have it any other way. In fact, the only time he has it danced, last February 13th, someone lost the music, and it was the only time during that span that Carolina has lost here at home. So they'll keep on dancing if they keep on winning. <laughs> what about our star watch here, Steve? Well, for the Terps, Brent, the hot hand of late has been James Gist. 6'9", long, athletic, wiry player who can beat you inside and out. And down low, Tyler Hansbro, well chronicled, the dominant low post presence. Get a load of this, Brent. He leads the country in free throw attempts. 148 for 183. Carl Hess, Jamie Lucky, and Brian Dorsey are three officials here for this ACC game. Thompson wins the tap, and it goes over. So the violation on the opening jump, and it will be Maryland's basketball. Well, Gary Williams is hoping it's a good omen. Catch a break here early. Osby moves in, misses the first shot. Hansborough rebounds. Tops it up over the top. Didn't get the shooter's bounce. Hansborough keeps it alive. Comes back, rejected. Milborn got a hand on it. Maryland basketball. Boy, if that first possession at Carolina's end is any indication of the way this game is going to be officiated, Put your seatbelt on. It's going to be physical. Here's Vasquez running the floor for the Terps. Tucker will start. Hayes will play. Yes, he is able to play. Practice this morning. We watched him at the shoot around and the left hander. Milborn puts him up by a deuce. Silky smooth. One bounce. Quick release. Good first possession. Ellington on a beautiful play and Osby. Goaltending is the call, and there's our starting lineups for the Terps. Tucker in there, Vasquez, Milborn, Gist, and Osby. Guard play going to be so important. They have to execute precisely, Brent. They go down low to Osby here early, trying to take it right at the heels. And they did exactly that as James Gist. And Roy Williams was concerned about him. Thompson comes back at the other end. This is, and Osby is fouled by Ginyard. Kenyard up over his back. So the Carolina five, loss in the point man, Ellington, Kenyard, Thompson, and of course Hansborough the star. But one thing you know for sure with a Gary Williams team, Steve, they will play hard. Very tough-minded competitor Gary Williams is, and his team a reflection of that. Again, looking to go down low, a tough angle there by Tucker to try and feed the post. Knocked away from Vasquez by Lawson. Here is Coach Gary Williams. <laughs> For a time, he said, look, there are two Williams coaches in this league, but I'm the only one with the national championship. Can't say that anymore. <laughs> a little competition, keeping up with the Joneses. That's right. So this, stuff, this one's keeping up with the Williams. That's right. Here come the Hills. 
The three ball, soft touch by Denier. There's that quick North Carolina attack. High octane. 98 points per game here in the Dean Dome. As Osby put it down, he traveled. Roy Williams won the 2005 title, beat Illinois and St. Louis. It was his first NCAA championship. Got to the Final Four a couple of times with Kansas. Well, a disciple of Dean Smith and returning back to the school where he was an assistant and an alma mater, of course, for him, coming home. Missing the outside and into Giff's hands. And so far, Osby is leaning hard on Hansborough. It's an interesting duel to watch down low, Steve. But Hansborough at the other end has his hands for a very powerful man. Ball is out of bounds and a blonde to the Turks. He's got that old school ABA retro afro. That makes him 6'8". He's really, folks, only about 6'7", but the afro makes it 8, right? You Am add right? the shoes to that as well. <laughs> Maybe an inch on the shoes and an inch on the hair. Pick up two. Watch him back down to the block, turn baseline, and eaten up. North Carolina so long, and we look at the help here from Deion Thompson, able to knock that one into seat six, row two. Just three, off iron, and Osby picks up his first personal over the back of Tyler Hansbro, who was rebounded. As the game goes along, Brent, something that'll be so evident is how long this North Carolina team is. They can extend defensively, because of that length in the basket area, just not many good looks. Jump shot by Hansbrough, misfired on it. That's the distance he's been working on. This is important for Maryland. If they don't have something in transition, they have to put touches on the ball, get deeper into the shot clock. Osby's gonna power in. Well, that's a picture-perfect possession. Great give up by Vasquez on the pick and roll. Osby the flush. Very aggressive start by the Turks, as you would expect here. Muscling in for it is Ellington. Smooth as silk. Ellington much stronger this year, committed to the weight room in the offseason. As a result, more stamina, able to finish at the rim. Banks it in. You got to catch a break when you're playing the number one team in the country. They are retreating quickly on defense. Well, they're playing with that sense of urgency, a collective ego. Lawson's three. Missing and foul is against the Tar Heels. We're going to see a pick and roll here. Osby sets a good screen. Hansborough helps, but it becomes a foot race. Doesn't recover and doesn't have the weak side rotation by his teammates. The easy deuce. So Thompson picking up the foul will sit. Alex Stevenson from Los Angeles checks in. Good on Vasquez. Tough spot to pick up the dribble out front. And Gary Williams unhappy with his point guard. We're not giving it up. Roy helping the officials at the other end. We've got a timeout. Mm, whoa, I didn't see that coming. It's a crunchy hot wing with no sauce. But it's still got all the kick. It's sauceless and crunchy, it's amazing. In a split second, everything that I knew about hot wings has changed. In this new wing world, anything is possible. Will you go out with me? Yes. Didn't see that coming. Crunchy on the outside, spicy on the inside. The sauceless hot wing is at KFC. Get a bucket of 20 or try six wings for $2.99. Only at KFC.
this. Is it for all of us? Yeah. The magic begins when you realize you can afford a Disney vacation. Other affordable packages all year long. Visit DisneyWorld.com slash affordable. At UBS, financial solutions come from listening very carefully to what our clients say. But even more carefully to what they don't say. You could call it the commitment to understand. We just call it You and Us. You and Us. UBS. ESPN's College Basketball on ABC. Presented by KFC's Sauceless Hot Wings. Spicy on the inside, crunchy on the outside. And Olivia, award-winning high-definition television. Maryland did not travel to Chapel Hill a year ago, so when these two teams played in College Park on February 25th, Maryland won 89-87. to So this is their first appearance here, and it has been turned over by the Tar Heels. It'll be Maryland basketball. What have we seen here, Steve? Well, physical play. The Terps have brought the brass knuckles to the table. We're watching underneath here. The Terps there. Osby to the chest, no call, and then a little whack in transition there. So, like a boxer, they're going to try and wear down Tyler Hansborough over the course of this game. A cumulative effect, and Gist with a nice little jimmy in the lane. That will wear you down also. They make you play defense at that end. Now, Hansborough kicks it back out to Lawson. I like the aggressiveness the Turks have shown. They're on their toes, alertly, rotating, helping one another. Stevenson underneath Hansborough has it knocked away, and foul is called, and Hansborough will make his way there's that stick to -itiveness. The second efforts, the length and strength of the Tar Heels. They beat you up on the boards, plus 11 on the year. They control that lane. I want to show you some stats about this young man on the free throw line. He has, you can see, 184 with this one. All right? That's almost as many free throws as the other four starters combined. 219, a remarkable statistic. He has actually taken more free throws this year than North Carolina's opponents have made. It's unbelievable. Well, and, well, and you know coming in, he's the go-to guy, but even with scouting and preparing your players, still a difficult load to handle. Oh, a beautiful move by Osby. A lot of confidence. You see the little old-school hook. He's not afraid to go, is he, huh, Steve? Oh, no hesitation offensively by Maryland. Very decisive, crisp Lawson. offensively. We'll kick it back out for the three. Up over the top. What's this baby hook? Well, Osby's got a wide body, broad shoulders himself. He takes his time there. And just nice touch. Just the rotation off the fingertips there on that hook shot. So Green, the dancing man, who's on the floor also for the Tar Heels right now. And from that deep corner, Vasquez with the three. A quick catch and shoot there, like a gunslinger. Trigger. Vasquez stays on Ellington and fires it up over the top of him. And here's Vasquez bringing it down. Almost traveled. Gary calls the play from the Maryland sideline. Turnover. That's number three on Maryland. Let's watch Vasquez. And Vasquez, a lot of emotion, a lot of passion. You see him bury the three off the inside-outside pass from Osby, and now talking a little smack. I don't know if that was to the North Carolina bench or the fans. He's an emotional leader on the floor. Turnover by Ellington. Carolina lost its edge here a little bit. Well, you have to be pleased if you're Gary Williams. They've come out and they are ready to play. Executing offensively, solid defensively in terms of containing 
the dribble penetration. They've scrambled back in transition defense. They've held their own on the boards. And keeping the crowd out of it right now with their performance so far. Melbourne going to attack. And Green stuck right with him. Nothing easy against this defense. Green's rejected, comes back. A good second effort by Green. Again, the length of the Tar Heels paying off on the putback. Osby, not this time, and now the Heels. Here's Ellington, looking to run. He's got Lawson on the right. Lawson thought about it. They were going to give him the three, too. Stolen by Vasquez. Vasquez. Going to go in with a layup. A beautiful driving layup with pressure from the rear on the Venezuelan. Oh, he made that look easy. This time Lawson does hit a big three. Well, oh, he's improved his shot, Brent. So important to stretch defense as Vasquez doing a nice job here of making decisions. Oh, that one there might not be the one Gary Williams wants. I was going to say, I thought he was going to slow that down and bring it back out and get Maryland into a set. Ill-advised shot. Green feeds the post. Hansbro off balance, didn't get the bounce. Stevenson battling for the rebound, but the Turks come away. Long pass into the corner. Now see, if you're Maryland, if you have the advantage in transition, the numbers for a clear layup or dunk, go ahead and take it. But if not, make North Carolina guard. Eric Hayes will be checking in. Not expected to play today, but he felt much better. Gist. Hitting iron into Hansborough's hands. He's got a half dozen rebounds already here in the early going. Outside shot. He has missed both of his shots from the perimeter. Lawson comes back with another three back to back. In the offseason, Ty Lawson went to work, Brent, on his jump shot. One of the chinks in his armor. As a result, now you have to honor the threat of Lawson's jump shot. That opens up the inside and also driving lanes. Vasquez, and that's an offensive foul. So, Vasquez taketh one away here for the driving layup. But just a couple of seconds ago, he gave it back. Rob, you know Verizon Wireless still has lots of really great phones on sale. Got myself a Venus with a touchscreen. Get excited all over again. Because some of the hottest LG phones are still on sale at Verizon Wireless. Now buy one music playing chocolate in your favorite color for $79.99 and get one free. Verizon Wireless. Most people go through life following plan A. It's predictable. It's expected. It's routine. But what if you're not a plan A kind of person? Welcome to plan B from Brother. Our new color laser printers and all-in-ones are for those who make the better choice, not the obvious one. With more performance, more speed, more affordability. So make the smarter decision. We call it plan B. Brother, at your side. No matter how demanding my workout is, I'm not done until I finish it with EAS Myoplex. Taken within 30 minutes after my workout, the high quality protein in Myoplex helps me refuel and build lean muscle. That way, I don't waste my workout. Now I'm done. Grab your EAS Myoplex at a leading retailer near you, or for your free sample, go to EAS.com. PlayStation 3, starting at $3.99. Are we really going home? Yeah, we're really going home. Every person on this island will be killed. 
Whatever they came for, it isn't us. Lost, the two-hour premiere event, Thursday, January 31st at 8, 7 central on ABC. Well, next Sunday, ABC features an NBA doubleheader, first of one Eastern, two of the top teams in the East. Boston Celtics will take on the Orlando Magic. Then at 3.30 Eastern, King James and the Cavaliers will face Kobe Bryant and the Lakers. There's some great NBA stars come out of North Carolina. One of them happens to be the general manager of the Los Angeles Lakers right now, Mitch Kupchak. Tyler Hansbrough, who all the pros are taking a long look at, 0 for 4 to start this game. Great play coming out of the timeout. Stevenson and one. Well, precise execution by the Tar Heels against Maryland's full court pressure. Took their time, got the ball in the middle of the floor for the easy dunk. Stevenson, another one of the Tar Heel big men that continue to get better and better with each practice and each game experience. So Quentin Thomas, number 11, is checked in the game. Also, Eric Hayes, number five, is on the floor for the first time. Missing three games with a high ankle sprain. And the Tar Heels have put together a 9-0 run. So very Maryland needs to end that right now. They were down six now. It is 2017 on three consecutive three-point plays. One the old-fashioned way. Vasquez will try to end it right here. Cannot. Battle for the rebound, out of bounds. Maryland inverting in that flex offense. They'll post up their guard. You saw Vasquez there getting a crack at the post. Great feed inside the loft, balanced left-handed shot. Offensive put back by Walker is good. Shane Walker, the freshman. High lift on that jump hook. Over the top again, wanting top. Get a look at the Tar Heels here without hands, bro, as he gets a blow on the bench. Vineyard's blocked. He had his first three of the year earlier in this game. Stolen on the turnover. And Bowie almost gave the Turks numbers, but lost the dribble a little bit. Maryland wants to take advantage here, Brent, with Ty Lawson and Hansbro on the bench. Make hay. Kick back outside with three fronts. And the Heels have it. Thompson has it knocked three. Now we have back down turn baseline on Gist. Tap and coming in over the top is Green. I wouldn't be surprised if Roy Williams doesn't get Lawson or Ellington back in the game as well as Hansbro. This team offensively, not as adept. Where are the football helmets, Brent? Butch Davis would like this ball game. Vasquez. Wrapped up at hand throw is fouled from behind by Walker. And the play in the paint in the basket area. Extremely physical. Hand throw to secure that rebound and draw the foul. This team offensively, Brent, struggling. Green, left hand, no, hands go underneath, couldn't tap it. Thompson comes back, take it away from him. Vasquez eyes the floor. He has Bowie running ahead of him, but that would have been dangerous. Here's Hayes, first three, yes, huge. The guard play so critical, Hayes and Vasquez very capable. Off of Maryland foot, out of bounds. You can see North Carolina not comfortable without the ball in Ty Lawson's hands. This is what makes this Tar Heel attack so lethal, so efficient. And he's out of the game. It's a struggle in terms of their offensive identity. And remember, they lost Bobby Frazier to a season-ending knee injury. He would have been the backup, and that, uh, that's eliminating a very valuable backup on this Tar Heel team. It was clear with this offense that they've been missing him. And Thompson, the left baseline. Deion Thompson, silky smooth, a big man that can step away from the basket. 
but capable down low in the basket area as well. Nailing it, Ginyard, his second three. Seven points for the game. Well, a reminder to catch the Winter X game. The 12th of January. Oh, yeah, let me correct myself. <laughs> it's the, uh, you know, I'm so used to Super Bowl numerals. You know what I mean here? It's the uh, <laughs> Winter X game 12, January 24th through the 27th. Wake up, Frank. Come on. <laughs> Knocked away back to Lawson. Here's Hansville. <laughs> Over the top. That's Thompson. Picking up his second personal foul of the game. Roy Williams will have to make a decision. When we come back, we'll tell you what he decided. Maryland up by three. The class exclusive picture and mirror technology available in the 2008 Lincoln Navigator allows you to look to a familiar place and see more of the big picture, setting the new 2008 Lincoln Navigator apart once again. Discipline investing. At T. Rowe Price, it's not just about the short term. It's about a steady, long-term approach. For each three, five, and 10-year period, over 70% of our mutual funds beat their Lipper average. Low-cost mutual funds from T. Rowe Price. Invest with confidence. Request a complete prospectus or profile with investment objectives, risks, fees, expenses, and other information to read and consider carefully before investing. If I had to describe our founder, Jim Cook, first thing I'd say is the guy's crazy. He pours his beer, then he gets it in his nose. He practically chews the beer. Don't use that. You look at him, what the heck he know about beer? He don't look like a beer person. I'm constantly walking back in the brewery, finding Jim sneaking taste out of the fermenters. I am obsessed with the taste of Samuel Adams because beer's not a job, beer is my life. But we have a lot in common, I might add, because they're both good looking. Nothing we can do about that. This Friday, <laughs> the first great action movie of the year is here. When you're pushed, killing's easy. Just a moment. Rambo. Rated R. In theaters Friday. Go! I've been seeing things lately. I think they may have some greater significance. Premiering Thursday, January 31st. The most unforgettable new drama on television. You will believe. Eli Stone. Series premiere Thursday, January 31st on ABC. I'm Carl Ravitch, Sports Center. Right now, it is presented by Chase. If you haven't got a chance to watch the Australian Open tennis, you've missed some fascinating matches, many of them going late, late into the night, in fact, deep into the early morning. Roger Federer beat Janko Tipsarevic of Serbia in five sets, took four hours. And Philip Rivers says he is optimistic he's going to play against the Patriots in spite of a report in the San Diego Union Tribune that says he has got a partially torn ACL. Brent? Hi, Carl. So uh, I'm sure we'll hear more about that story in the next uh, 24 hours. Philip Rivers limping off after suffering the injury at Indianapolis. So here we are with Maryland and uh, Gary Williams stalking another number one, Steve. Well, throughout his career, as we see Maryland attack North Carolina's full court presser, Roy Williams trying to change the tempo, create some turnovers, and get his team out in transition. Milborn. Just with a strong rebound, reaching back, that fine reach of his. And following up on that point, Brent, Gary Williams has six victories over number one teams in the country. That's the most of any active coach in America. Or just snapped that one off over hands, bro. Backed it down. Big time field goal. That's a five point lead for Maryland and a half dozen for Gist. There's just a poise and a confidence that Maryland is playing with at both ends of the floor, aggressive defensively and Offensively loose, but still playing with intelligence. Carolina will attempt to solve this. Hansbrook jumped out on Vasquez, and he's bumped by Lawson. 
So he picks up the personal foul on the point guard. Well, there's an ease for Maryland offensively, Brent, to come in to Chapel Hill, the Dean Smith Center, the Dean Dome, and be so comfortable. I think that's what's most impressive offensively and then defensively, just the tenacity, the effort, holding Hansbro to two points here in the first half. Marcus Kinyard taking Vasquez. Tough pass, turn it over. That's five turnovers for Maryland now. Well, that's five empty trips with the lead, so you imagine what it might have been if they'd have been a little more efficient with the basketball down there. Well, you hit the nail on the head. Empty trips, that means no three-point field goal attempt, no two-point field goal attempt, no foul drawn, no free throw attempt. Cannot afford those on the road against the number one team in the country. Got to at least get a shot at the basket. Then you got a shot at the second shot. A put back. Hands go being well defended here in the early going. They double right on the pass, so he goes to the jump hook for the deuce from the right baseline. And that for Hansborough. He's one of six from the floor. Did a nice job of getting that shot off quickly. Left hand for Osby, not this time. Head man now, Ginyard on the drive and drew the foul. One of the few transition opportunities this afternoon for the Tar Heels. Credit Maryland for scrambling back defensively with a sense of urgency and not allowing the easy runouts. This morning, Gary Williams preached, do not let Lawson get past the free throw lane. Keep him from getting to the rim. He's very strong. Gary said he's much stronger than he was a year ago. We have to stop him. And they've done a very good job of that so far. Retreating on defense, stopping Lawson high, and preventing the heels from getting quickly into that offense. They're scrambling back and building their shell and stopping the ball early. Finding Ty Lawson. But a big part of transition defense, Brent, is executing offensively. When North Carolina takes the ball to the net, they're not as quick in transition. If you don't turn the ball out, they don't get out in the open floor where their athleticism becomes a factor. 27-26. Maryland up a point. Now it's just turn. Off the front of the iron into Lawson's hands. And watch and see if they can stop him. He's going to try to get to the rim this time. And he does. That's what Gary Williams wanted to stop right there. They could not off the missed field goal attempt at the other end. We had our first beep beep sighting. A roadrunner. Might have another one. Nope. Vasquez. And he turns it over again, and it's stolen right back by Milborn. Oh, Gist follows from the weak side. Big time hoop. Putting Maryland back on top, 29-28, eight for Gist. Those are the high percentage finishes you'd love to see if you're Gary Williams. Hansborough off balance. Vasquez with a bounce pass up ahead to Tucker. Tucker glides in. Well, the Terps giving them a little bit of their own medicine. Getting out in transition. Off the bounce. An excellent pass from 50 feet by Vasquez. Unbeaten at number one. Down three. Well, one and done. Clear on the boards. Osby wants a blow. See him tugging on his jersey there, looking to the bench. This has been a collective effort by the Terps. A very balanced attack. Stevenson fouled Vasquez. We talk about the blazing speed of Ty Lawson. Off the missed shot, he rebounds. And BB, the roadrunner, will change of direction. Cut back, the smooch off the glass. Five seconds in transition. That is a one-man fast break. When you have someone like a Ty Lawson, you've got a one-man press break and a one-man fast break. Bowie and Neal are just checked in with an offensive putback and a left-handed shot. One of the keys to knocking off the number one team in the country is an unexpected contributor. Mr. Neal comes in right away, contributes. Back 
Outside for the overlook three. Yes. Marcus Kenyon. Eight points for him. Oh, the threes are keeping the Tar Heels in this. Now Gist, he answers with one of his own. The three ball. Boy, they are in rhythm offensively. Just sharing the ball. Stevenson off Ginyard. Turps ball again, and here they come. Boy, they run outs. Numbers. Tucker. Oh. No, we got heels. Maryland has just been quicker. In transition, quicker on the boards, quicker in their rotations. Off the bounce, in their execution offensively. Sometimes the team just beats you to the punch. Stevenson back down beautifully that time. I mean, Alex Stevenson, the sophomore from Los Angeles. Five for him. They're going to have to go back to Osby here very quickly. Neal giving them some admirable minutes. Got to get your best players back on the floor. So as we take a break, we're going to get a ABC News update, a caucus update on the election for Nevada. Let's send you to Charles Gibson. And good afternoon. We are now ready to project the Democratic winner in the state of Nevada. ABC News, based on the vote totals and the precincts reporting so far, will project that Hillary Clinton will win the Nevada caucuses. Barack Obama will be second. And John Edwards, Senator John Edwards, is a distant, distant third. There was earlier today a relatively uncontested Republican caucus in Nevada. And Mitt Romney has won there with McCain and Paul virtually tied for a second. Mitt Romney was really the only candidate to contest the state of Nevada. There was a disproportionate uh, Mormon turnout in Nevada benefiting Romney, but he won essentially in all categories in the Nevada caucuses. But again, on the Democratic side, this one was contested. Hillary Clinton, the winner. There have now been three Democratic contested states, Hillary Clinton holding Nevada, carrying New Hampshire, and Barack Obama, the winner in the Iowa caucuses. There is still voting going on in the state of South Carolina. We will have results on that later today. That on the Republican side, basically contested between John McCain and former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. We're going to return you now to regular programming, and we'll have those South Carolina Republican results later today. There'll be a full wrap-up tonight on World News. I'm Charles Gibson in New York. For continuing election coverage, stay with ABC News. Rubber ball, six dollars. Softball, five dollars. Football, thirty-five dollars. Being ready for whatever parenthood throws at you, priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's credit or debit MasterCard. Yeah, a tree fell on my car. I'm covered, right? Was it a ficus? I don't know. Who cares? Well, the low-rate plan you chose does not include tree-related incidents. Except for the ficus. <laughs> You're joking, right? No. If you could save on car insurance without cutting your coverage, why wouldn't you? Call State Farm and see why it pays to shop the leader first. Get a quote and start saving today. That's no ficus. <clears throat> Well, this game marks the second time this year that the Terps have faced the top-ranked team in the nation. UCLA was number one back on November 19th when they played. And in that game, it was 71-59, the Bruins. But here today, a much stronger start against the number one team now, the North Carolina Tar Heels, 36-33, the Terps with the lead. North Carolina looking a little hesitant, Brent, offensively, almost stunned. On the home floor here, a little deer in the headlights at the offensive end. Trying to get the open look. Ginyard, not that, but a put back as Stevenson is not blocked off the glass at all. North Carolina so long, so active on the glass, plus 11 on the boards on the season for the Tar Heels. Stevenson now 3 of 5 from the field, so he's been a very valuable contributor off the bench. Tyler Hansbrough is one of seven for those of you who just joined us 
he has been struggling. I guess once a Tar Heel, always a Tar Heel, folks. Look who's in the house. Big Ten Commissioner Jim Delaney wearing his Carolina blue. He played, of course, for legendary Dean Smith. And uh, we want to send along our very best to the coach. Uh, he'll be 77 years old next month. And he's recovering uh, from complications following a, no a December 3rd operation. He had a knee replaced, and I know that's just killing him because he wants to get out and play some golf. I mean, that's that's his first love, and uh, there's no more honorable gentleman that I have ever dealt with in all the sports than uh, than Dean Smith. And I know coaches watching, taking notes, keeping charts, and uh, staying up to date on the Tar Heels. And uh, this is, folks, much of what you see around this North Carolina basketball program. You have to give Dean Smith his great assistance and all the wonderful players that came here. Well, what, so much credit. What better way for Dean Smith than to recover than to watch an undefeated North Carolina Tar Heel team? They're getting a lot of TV time viewing, but you're right. Dean Smith set the standard as a teacher, as an ambassador, as a diplomat for the game. Dean Smith, John Wooden, you know, two of the giants if you look at the history of basketball. There's Hansborough popping out. Now it's Neal's turn. They're trying to wear him down physically, and uh, offense is the call. Well, a reminder, of course, 118 away from the UBS halftime report. Carl Ravitch, Georgetown, one of those teams eyeing San Antonio. How about out in the Pac-10? They got a whole bunch of good teams out there. And game day is in Gainesville. Well, USC. Kentucky and Florida. And that's baby tonight. Go ahead on USC. And USC baby. and UCLA today in Poly Pavilion. I'll be watching that score. Oh, off Genyard. He turned it over after making the steal. Gave it back to him. I just think Maryland in the first half has been more aggressive than North Carolina, beating them to the punch in every aspect of the game. In transition, on the boards. <laughs> Gist again down low with the baby hook. Great low post position. You know, Gist, when he came to Maryland four years ago, was a very highly touted recruit. And he's showing that skill here today. Rattles out for Thompson. There he is skying for another rebound with a great outlet pass to Tucker. Tucker in the paint. What a pass by Gist after he pulled the rebound down. Well, the pass is faster than the bounce, and Maryland alertly moving the ball from point A to point B through the air. The easy bucket. North Carolina a bit sluggish in transition. Lollygagging, short-legging it in their transition defense. Now part of that is Maryland's speed. They make you look slow. They make you look like you're running in the mud. You know, it's interesting. Roy Williams said to us in the office, you know, we're undefeated with number one, but we really haven't played that well. And I thought, well, maybe it was coach speak. Well, I'm beginning to wonder a little bit. Well, they're going to have to regroup here at halftime as Green fires one up into Vasquez's hands. He's got a hurry now at the buzzer. And off the glass. Maryland owned this half, Brent, from start to finish at both ends. Impressive high marks for Gary Williams. I can't believe that there's some booing. I mean, they haven't lost. It doesn't take long, does it? I guess not. Come on. Don't be a front runner. Wow. Anybody's entitled. 41 35. You know what? They're pulling the refs. Carl Ravage is up next in the studio after this. ESPN's College Basketball on ABC, presented by KFC, brought to you by Disney Parks. Come live your dreams during the year of a million dreams. Don't miss it. And Lincoln, reach higher. We'll be back with the UBS Halftime Report after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Honey, look at this. Is it for all of us? Yeah. Magic begins when you realize you can afford a Disney vacation. Other affordable packages all year long. Visit DisneyWorld.com slash affordable. The Lincoln MKC has two things you can't find on any other luxury car. Voice activated sync for your music. Play artist, motion worker. And your cell phone. Call Robert. 
Sync, powered by Microsoft, the ultimate software and the ultimate hardware. J.D. Power & Associates' highest ranking in initial quality. Now drive Lincoln MKC with zero down, zero first month's payment and zero cash due at signing for $369 a month. From the fastest growing full line of luxury vehicles, Lincoln. So here you are, a little confused. Did you think the road to retirement was an expressway? Come on! This isn't some random road trip. Your dreams are out there somewhere. somewhere. You can't start this journey without knowing where you're going. You, my friend, you need a plan. Find out why more people come to Ameriprise for financial planning than any other company. Visit us at Ameriprise.com slash plan. No one ever got lost on a Thursday night until now. Help! Thursday, January 31st, find yourself lost. Are we really going home? Yeah. At 8, 7 Central, a new Lost special to kick off the best season of Lost yet. We have to go back! And at 9, 8 Central, the most anticipated premiere of the new year, Lost is back. Whatever they came for, it is not. The Lost two-hour premiere event, Thursday, January 31st, starting at 8, 7 Central on ABC. If you're looking for legal help, look no further than Fine Law through the Legal Center on Newsnet5.com. No matter what your legal question is, Fine Law has the answer. And when you need a lawyer, Fine Law can help you locate one in your area. Legal help from Fine Law on Newsnet5.com. It's Boat Show time! The Cleveland Boat and Waterfront Lifestyle Expo, presented by Toyota Trucks, drops anchor January 11th to the 20th at the IX Center. See all the newest power boats, sailboats, fishing boats, and personal watercraft. Tour a full-size nautical chalet. Check out floating homes. Experience the Rail Jam Wakeboard Show. Take part in Angler's Alley. And marvel at Twiggy the Water Skiing Squirrel. The boat show is here, Visit ClevelandBoatShow.com. Finance today. Call today. Drive today at GantleyCreditConnection.com. Welcome to the UBS Halftime Report. Here's Carl Ravitch. Well, you figure it would be Tyler Hansbrough, perhaps, with a double-double at the break. Instead, it's James Gist. He's got 13 points. Two of them there. Ten rebounds in Maryland right now. Shocking. The unbeaten number one team in the country, that's North Carolina, 41-35. Welcome, folks. A game day report from Florida and Kentucky in just a bit. Meantime, the other games going on. You heard Steve Lavin mention it. West Coast bias, perhaps. But you got to keep your eye on UCLA as they look to San Antonio later this year. O.J. Mayo and USC. This is more than just Mayo and Love, the two respective freshman standouts for their programs. Love getting it down low. He's sort of dominated the headlines with regards to these two freshmen, not only in this game, but this season. UCLA up six. Both teams will tell you, when Love doesn't score a lot and Mayo doesn't score a lot, they tend to win more games. Dwight Lewis buries a three. USC down three on the Poly Pavilion floor. Darren Collison pulls up for his own three. UCLA went up by two, but towards the end of the first half, Dwight Lewis going coast to coast. And the Bruins have a one-point lead at the break. Josh Shipp is into double digits. He has 11. Tennessee leading the SEC East. They're unbeaten 3-0. They'll get Memphis later this year on ESPN, February 23rd. That should be a good one. LSU gets hammered by Vanderbilt, 92-76. Shane Foster from the outside lights him up. He goes for 18 points. We move to the Big East. Notre Dame and Georgetown. Roy Hibbert is 7-2. A lot of folks like Georgetown's chances to get to San Antonio. Hibbert is so tall, you throw another oh, 48 inches there with that arm span, and he's throwing hooks left and right in this game. He had 13 in the first half, 21 in the game. Second half now, the Fighting Irish are indeed fighting and getting clocked. Hibbert's elbow lands Heron Gody on the ground. He'd leave the game, but Luke would come back later. He ended up with 13, leading the Irish. There was no way to beat Georgetown and Hibbert today. He went for five assists with those 21 points. A bunch of rebounds, too. They win at 84 to 65. Pittsburgh, they got good news earlier this week to find out Levance Fields, the injured guard, will return later this season. But right now, a game Bearcat team. It is 20 to 15 Cincinnati at home up in the Big East. All right, speaking of the Big East, we continue with Villanova and Syracuse. Dante Green, Jim Beheim, they had to lead most of the game here. Cuse. 
finds themselves trailing by five when Green hits the floater to make it a three-point game. Later in the second, they're down five again. Scoop Jardine, no. Ricky Jackson working the glass. He can't get it. Orinze Onuaku is finally going to get it to go, and Kuss is within three. Back the other way, though, Corey Fisher. He'll also launch a three. As the shot clock expires, Villanova is a tough club. They get the win. Scotty Reynolds goes for 25 points as Villanova improves to 13 and three. Take a look at scores from the rest of the country. A&M and Kansas State in a good one. It is tied 18-18. You can see that game, folks, over on ESPN2. Texas Tech and Oklahoma 21-16. Georgia Tech 81, Virginia Tech 70. Look at Kazi going for 30 points in the backcourt. Mentioned our game day crew. They'll be there at 8 o'clock Eastern time from Gatorland. We'll find out who the players to watch are as they get set for their match with Kentucky on the UBS Halftime Report. This Halftime Report brought to you by UBS, a global financial firm available in two locations, everywhere and right next to you, you and us. Because financial solutions have no borders or boundaries, UBS operates in only two locations. Everywhere. And right next to you. You and us. UBS. Don't miss Stallone's most thrilling adventure yet. This Friday, it's here. When you're pushed, killing's as easy as breathing. Ah! Rambo, live for nothing or die for something. Your call. Rated R in theaters Friday. Go! Most people go through life following plan A. It's predictable. It's expected. It's routine. But what if you're not a plan A kind of person? Welcome to plan B from Brother. Our new color laser printers and all-in-ones are for those who make the better choice, not the obvious one. With more performance, more speed, more affordability. So make the smarter decision. We call it Plan B. Brother, at your side. They're on their way. Every person on this island will be killed. Whatever they came for, it isn't us. Lost. Two-hour premiere event Thursday, January 31st on ABC. And for a sneak peek at the season premiere, go to ABC.com. Welcome back to the UBS Halftime Report. You get the crowd yeah, excited for everything you can do. Hubert making Carolina proud as he continues to show that energy that helped him when he was, of course, at Tar Heel. You got uh, Jay Billis there, Digger Phelps, of course, and Reese Davis there, the game day gang. Boy, if Tebow could inspire Kentucky tonight, that would obviously not work with the Florida folks, but they need more help than the Gators do. Let's get a report from the guys in Florida. A rowdy reptiles ready. Florida has beaten Kentucky six straight times. The Cats, the winningest program in the history of college basketball, and only once had they lost seven in a row to a single opponent. Notre Dame beat them seven times in a row between 1936 and 1942. How many years had you been there then? I was there in 36, the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. That's when you took over. Meanwhile, the Gators will try to match that feat in the modern day by beating Kentucky for the seventh straight time. Who are some players to watch tonight, Jay? You know, Reese, we talked so much about great freshmen. Well, Florida has a great freshman of their own, and that's Nick Kalafas. He scores about 16 points per game. 
about six assists per game that leads the Southeastern Conference. He's got a great feel for the game. He understands how to play, and he plays with great pace and a huge matchup problem for Kentucky. Yeah, Florida has another outstanding freshman, and Jay Lucas has really stepped up his game in SEC play, averaging 14 points a game, 55% from three-point range. He's a guy that likes to take over in late-game situations. He's getting it done in the middle. For Kentucky, it's Patrick Patterson. He's got to show up and get it done. Not like he did at home against Louisville, where he had six points and six turnovers. Do what he did against Vanderbilt. A big double-double. If he scores inside, takes the pressure off Kentucky's perimeter game. And this is what I like. Less threes, Patterson inside. This is how Kentucky can play well and maybe win. Growing pains evident for both of these programs. Florida built its schedule slowly and now hoping that those freshmen are starting to mature. Off to a 15-3 start. Meanwhile, the Kent, 7-8. Worst record at this point since 1990. We're back here in the O-Dome for College Game Day, 8 o'clock Eastern, getting ready for the Gators and Cats. All right, Reese, thank you. Do we have an upset in the making for only the third time this year? Carolina trailing at the half. They've won them all so far. This halftime report brought to you by UBS, a global financial firm available in two locations, everywhere and right next to you, you and us. The second half is next after this message and a word from our ABC stations. What do you get when a financial firm with 80,000 people in 50 countries takes the time to understand your needs as if it's just the two of you. Could it be the most powerful two-person financial firm in the world? You and us, UBS. Rob? You know, Verizon Wireless still has lots of really great phones on sale. Got myself a Venus with a touchscreen. Get excited all over again. Because some of the hottest LG phones are still on sale at Verizon Wireless. Now buy one music playing chocolate in your favorite color for $79.99 and get one free. Verizon Wireless. Everyone has a calling. It's coming from the living room. On Thursday, January 31st, Eli Stone will live it. There are those who are sent to us to help us find our way. Some people call them prophets. What if who you are? I'm a lawyer. I'm not a prophet. Is it what you're meant to be? I've been seeing things lately. I think they may have some greater significance. What's wrong with you, Eli? Well, maybe nothing's wrong with me. Maybe something's finally right. You will believe. Eli Stone. Series premiere Thursday, January 31st on ABC. What makes News Channel 5 at 11 different from other stations? Assignment 5. Digging for answers. There's a hidden danger in my house. You were sending a message that I need to listen to. Investigating corruption. We just no want comment. a simple answer. Cut to the chase. Do you think that's right? Saving you money. How would you like that to be lower? That's free money. Making things right. All that can be saved. If you want the same old news, watch the other guys. If you want a newscast that's really on your side, watch News Channel 5 tonight at 11. The Cleveland Boat and Waterfront Lifestyle Expo drops anchor January 11th through the 20th. See the newest boats, Waterfront Homes, Angler's Alley, Twiggy the Water Skiing Squirrel, and the Rail Jam Wakeboard Show. Visit ClevelandBoatShow.com. Sunday, the race to the White House heats up with contests in Nevada and South Carolina. And GMA is there with the winners, the losers, and what happens next. Plus, Audrey Hepburn, now 15 years after her death. Never before seen photos, only on Good Morning America Sunday. Discover the power of a great smile. The PowerProx six-month braces technique is fast, affordable, and comfortable, and will give you the smile you've always wanted in just six months. We can even hide braces behind your teeth so no one can see them. Go from this to this in just six months. So don't hide your smile anymore. Get that gorgeous smile you've always wanted with the PowerProx six-month braces technique. Dodges for less. Call today, drive today at GanleyConnection.com. We welcome you back to College Basketball presented by KFC. A six-point lead for Underdog Maryland, 41-35. And an update on our Star Watch right now. And James Gist, 6 of 11 from the field. 
Meanwhile, Tyler Hansbro has been held to only four points, one of seven. And we take a look, Steve. One on one brought to you by Colonial Life. Well, Pravis Vasquez did a nice job, Brent, of deciding when the Terps were going to run and when they were going to get into their half-court sets. Lawson, kick it back out to Ginyu. Ellington swings and misses the Tar Heels first shot of the second half and here come the Terps. First five minutes critical for both teams. North Carolina wanting to get some stops or shutouts Brent to get out in transition. And of course Maryland wanting to continue to execute and bring the effort and intensity. My guess is Roy Williams challenged this Tar Heel team but Milburn good execution in the half court five six seven touches from distance. Maryland picks up right where they left off to finish the first half. Lawson's three. Off the iron. And Hansborough. Foul called against Maryland. Osby and underneath with Hansbro. Osby has to be wiser than that for a veteran player. Made it an easy call for Fisher and he brings that elbow up right into Hansbro's chops. So the Turks enjoying their biggest lead of the game. And timeout has been called here quickly. Uh, Roy by Williams. Roy Williams. So we will take a break. The Turks enjoy their biggest lead of the game. Disciplined investing. It isn't about star fund managers. At zero price, it's about experienced investment teams that stay the course. For each three, five, and 10 year period, over 70% of our mutual funds beat their Lipper average. Low cost mutual funds from T. Rowe Price. Invest with confidence. Request a complete prospectus or profile with investment objectives, risks, fees, expenses, and other information to read and consider carefully before investing. If I had to describe our founder, Jim Cook, first thing I'd say is the guy's crazy. He pours his beer, then he gets it in his nose. He practically chews the beer. Don't use that. You look at him, what the heck he know about beer? He don't look like a beer person. I'm constantly walking back in the brewery, finding Jim sneaking taste out of the fermenters. I am obsessed with the taste of Samuel Adams because beer's not a job, beer is my life. But we have a lot in common, I might add, because they're both good looking. Nothing we can do about that. Guys that sweat a lot had to have a backup plan. Now there's a better plan. New Gillette Clinical Strength Antiperspirant. Powerful wetness protection. 34% better than a prescription product. A lot more confidence. Hey, Jason, you got that report, right? You bet. There's something different about you. Did you get a haircut? Gillette Clinical Strength Antiperspirant. Change your life, not your shirt. ESPN's College Basketball on ABC, presented by KFC's Sauceless Hot Wings, spicy on the inside, crunchy on the outside, and State Farm, great service, great rates, it's all here. Nobody takes care of you like State Farm. Ball is inbounded by the Tar Heels, and uh, Steve, this is uh, 
Biggest deficit you were telling me that North Carolina has faced this year? Largest deficit of the season as we see Ellington down the lane with a little runner. Cut it to seven. So a real crossroads here, intersection for this 2008 North Carolina Tar Heel team. Tucker feeds to Osby. Gets it back. Right baseline, open jumper. Again, the ease, the comfort level that Maryland is operating on and Ginyard the other way. Good block. At the putback. Deion Thompson. Try to feed Osby in low and he finishes. Get a chin up on the rim. Tack in the iron, the cup. Lawson battles his way in. Back outside, Ginyard's two. Hansborough tried to tap, but Gist with the strength pulled it down. Good position there by Gist as well. Tucker misfiring into Ellington's hands. Oh. Ginyard coming down the baseline, no whistle. Loose ball, bodies go flying, still no whistle. And finally the possession arrow sends it over. Love that if you're Gary Williams, your players. <laughs> Stretching out after loose balls. Well, the season premiere everyone's been waiting for. Thursday, January 31st. Two-hour premiere event starting at 8, 7 Central. The season, some will leave the island and some will not. Time to find yourself lost. For a while, it looked like the Tar Heels were lost. And uh, it's 48-39. The Tar Heels do look a bit stunned. I think the crowd as well taken out of the game. Nice catch missing, and here's Lawson. Maryland's taken two big-time threes on the last couple of trips here, Steve. I'm not sure that's what Coach wants. Well, they were quick threes as well, and it was before the ball was played through the post. Get your big man a touch. If the defense collapses, you can always kick that out, get that shot later in the possession. But make North Carolina guard deeper into the shot clock. At no time in this game has Hansborough been a dominant offensive figure. I think the quickness of Maryland and their rotations has hurt Hansborough and the Tar Heels. Another fast break. Numbers. Walker is fouled by Ellington. Boy, Vasquez, a pickpocket artist. Quick hands. You know, confidence, like Poison Okra, a fever, Brent, is contagious. And you can see as the game goes along, Maryland continues to gain a confidence level and a belief they can beat the Tar Heels. You know, that's a, that's a big foul because that's three on Lawson. Remember we told you that Frazier, unavailable with that knee injury. Quentin Thomas would have to play major minutes here. We'll see what Roy decides to do. For the time being, he's sticking right with Lawson. Now he gets somebody. Evan, let's see if he's... Starts to go big. Let's Ellington handle it for a while. Hansborough being squeezed and fouled. You see the quick rotation while the ball is in the air on the passes to Hansborough. The Terps are moving on the flight of the ball. And when Hansborough receives it, they are there to close down the door. That time they gave up the baseline. Stevenson checks in. And Thompson sits down, so Lawson playing through the three fouls. Baseline, and Stevenson attacking, and a foul called on Maryland. So Walker, picking up two quick ones, has three. And a shooting foul for Stevenson. Wouldn't be surprised off these free throws if North Carolina doesn't get into a full court press. If you're Maryland, the concern is you know the Tar Heels are an explosive team that go on run, score points in bunches in a hurry. So you have to take care of the basketball, get good looks, and not let North Carolina get out one of those patented Tar Heel runs. A Dave Neal back on the floor. He did three solid minutes in the first half, Maryland, and we'll see what happens. Walker takes his seat. Gist has been quiet this half offensively. This time spins in the paint over the top short into Stevenson. 
So North Carolina doing a better job on Gist here. But they still trail it by eight. Now you see Neal trying to front Hansborough. Force him over the other side. Lawson, bad pass. Here's Tucker. Tucker against Ellington. Tucker glides inside for the layup. Boy, impressive cutbacks in the open floor by Tucker. Looked like a halfback or a running back in the open field. Knocked away by Tucker, but saved by Ginyard. See how aggressive Maryland is at both ends of the floor. There's that quick double in the post. Great help, weak side coming by the Turks. Ginyard pump fake in the lane. And Neal, defensive rebound. A 10-point Turk lead, wanted Gist on the move, and he will shoot free throws. Feed by Vasquez as we take a break. The number one team in trouble, folks. Mm, whoa, I didn't see that coming. It's a crunchy hot wing with no sauce. But it's still got all the kick. It's sauceless and crunchy, it's amazing. In a split second, everything that I knew about hot wings has changed. In this new wing world, anything is possible. Will you go out with me? Yes. Didn't see that coming. Crunchy on the outside, spicy on the inside. The sauceless hot wing is at KFC. Get a bucket of 20 or try six wings for $2.99. Only at KFC. If you could get protection like this, for the same price as this, why wouldn't you? It's the same with car insurance. If you can get State Farm's unbeatable good neighbor protection for the same or less than the other guys, why wouldn't you? With discounts up to 40%, you could. Get a quote and start saving today. We gotta talk. Fifties the new forty. Forties the new thirty. Let's get real. You're worried about a few wrinkles? Come on. What should never grow old are your dreams, making them real. That's what keeps you young. And for that, you don't need a nip and a tuck. You need a plan. Find out why more people come to Ameriprise for financial planning than any other company. Visit us at Ameriprise.com/plan. They pick up touchdowns pick up the bucks, and pick up their teams. Enterprise salutes NCAA student-athletes for picking us all up. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Sunday, one extraordinary family. An all-new two-hour event with not one, not two, but three huge reveals. All-new two-hour Extreme Makeover Home Edition, Sunday at 8, 7 central on ABC. I'm Carl Rabbit, Sports Center right now, presented by Chase. Roger Federer, just part of a couple of outstanding matches down under. He wins his match against Yanko Tipsarevich. It took him five sets and four plus hours to do it. He used 39 aces. He moves to the fourth round. And a great game going on, USC and UCLA. USC leading 44-37. Mayo has got nine. It's 11. They're using the beep beepers and the uh, dogs to slow them down, Brent. Well, this is the first of a triangle, triple header, if you will, down Tobacco Road. Maryland upsetting the number one team in the nation right now at six tonight over on ESPN. Clemson is at Duke. And then at eight o'clock, Miami and Raleigh will play North Carolina State. So, man, you talk about great day for Hoops fans here in uh, North Carolina. This is it. First things first, number one in trouble. Green by 10. Well, a little hesitation by Danny Green to freeze the defender and then the length to finish. Tucker being defended by Green. Guest will shoot from the perimeter. Lawson snaps down the board, playing with three fouls. Roy Williams has not blinked regarding that. Stevenson in deep. Hansborough, Hansborough pump fake back up. And he'll shoot free throws. Well, Brent, this is just another example. When you look throughout the country, you get into conference play, the scores clearly are closer. We start to see upsets. Here's the dump off. 
Stevenson, the nice interior post pass to Hansbro, and he tries to maneuver his way, power or muscle his way to the rim, able to draw the foul and step to the foul line. Mr. Free Throw. Three of three, and only one of seven from the field. Here are the two stars for North Carolina being held down, shutting their water off. Give the Terps credit for their defensive game plans. Hansborough shoots 80% from the foul line, Brett. Not only does he lead the country in attempts, but you've got a big man shooting 80. No hack of shack in this situation. The crowd's going to try. Lawson and Lawson, is that number four on him? No, hold on. They're going to give it to Hansborough instead. And that's his second. Lawson was right there in the thick of the action, and that was a hold your breath moment. It's a haunting feeling if you're North, if you're Maryland, Brent. You know at some point a Carolina run is bound to happen. A flurry of points. You know, it's come perhaps right now. Got the 10 down to 7. Vasquez. And Gisk. Neal back on the floor. Hayes back. Gisk has jacked the 3. And it's Carolina basketball. Here it comes. And Osby's going to be checking back in. Hansborough wants it in low. They stay at the perimeter. Lawson's pull up J. Here they come. Time out for Gary Williams. Well, for the first time, this crowd is really in the thick of things. Well, the key for Maryland, Gary Williams talking to his team about response mechanisms. They don't need to shoot the ball early in the shot clock. Make North Carolina guard, get your big men a touch, and then those perimeter jump shots will be there later in the possession. North Carolina wanting to continue to get stops and get out in transition, then play through Hansborough, inside out. 1547, Maryland's patented inbounds play. They don't have to worry, no pressure yet from Carolina in the backcourt. They'll retreat now, they've got a run going. It's 52-47, a 10 cut to a five. Bowie is on the floor. Gist has been kept to the perimeter, not as effective as when he's about four feet from the hoop. Now he's got his back to the basket. Now he's down in the paint area. Jump hook, yes. Much better basketball player down low. Yeah. An excellent possession for Maryland coming out of the timeout. Well devised by Gary Williams. Hansborough left alone outside. Nails the perimeter shot. That's that another, gives an eight for the game. That's another aspect Hansborough continues to develop in his game. From off-season individual workouts. Got a much better touch, more confidence on the perimeter. Hayes flashes corner, yes! His second huge three. Was not expected to play because of that high ankle sprain. Gary Williams told the Washington Post it'd be a miracle. Well, he said to me today, here comes a miracle. And Ellington responds with a three. A little punch, counter punch action. The teams are going to make runs, Brent. The key for Maryland is not panicking. Now North Carolina wanting to sustain the confidence and momentum. Osby back at Hansborough down to the paint. Muscle hoop. Eight for Osby. What a physical specimen Osby is. He's like a linebacker or a tight end, doesn't he? Talk about some pipes, some guns. Hansborough puts it down, comes baseline, wrap around. Back-to-back -back field goals by Tyler Hansborough, who's now alive at the Dean Dome. And there's some agility and quickness by the big fella down low. Good pressure out front by Lawson. Lawson stays on Vasquez. Gifts backs Hansborough down, kicks to the corner. It's a double, double up ball, and here comes Vasquez. Hayes coming again. Yo, e oh, it spun out. Thought it was in, but it spun out. Ellington pull up. Yes, a three ball. 
Two threes in a row, a dozen for Ellington. And here comes a timeout that Gary Lewis might let him get it over half court and then get the timeout. There it is. The crowd tells you the story. As the heels charge back and they trail by two now. Well, we spoke about it minutes ago. Uh, eventually, North Carolina is going to have a run. They're too lethal, too many prolific scores. Timeout. Red 19, Mom versus Anna. Lilac, big condition. Set. Cut. Shop victoriously. This rally, North Carolina, has hit its last six shots. Carolina with six consecutive baskets. 59-57, 11-13. Vasquez misses after the timeout. Just dives for the loose ball. Out of bounds. Floor burn, but couldn't save it. ESPN's college basketball on ABC continues after this message and a word from our ABC station. Uh, Chase called. Somebody was trying to use our card, but I took care of it. Chase fraud alerts you can act on instantly. Protection matters. Chase what matters. PlayStation 3, starting at $3.99. You know the first thing I learned about litigation? Clients won't know if you've had the bill. Okay, the second thing. Just when you think you found your way... Objection! Life changes direction. Help me, Stone. Help me. On Thursday, January 31st, one man will face his destiny. You know I've been seeing things lately. Follow the signs. I want to do the right thing. It's crazy, huh? Eli Stone. New series premiere Thursday, January 31st, after the two-hour lost event on ABC. If you're looking for legal help, look no further than Find Law through the Legal Center on Newsnet5.com. No matter what your legal question is, Find Law has the answer. And when you need a lawyer, Find Law can help you locate one in your area. Legal help from Find Law on Newsnet5.com. The Cleveland Boat and Waterfront Lifestyle Expo drops anchor January 11th through the 20th. See the newest boats, Waterfront Homes, Angler's Alley, Twiggy the Water Skiing Squirrel, and the Rail Jam Wakeboard Show. Visit ClevelandBoatShow.com. Get your Power 5 forecast anytime. Just grab your user-friendly phone book and flip to the Easy Info section. Call 1-800-891-5611 and enter code 7000 for a complete Power of 5 forecast. From the user-friendly phone book and News Channel 5. Cars for less. Call today, drive today at GanleyConnection.com. Tyler Hansborough has tied it at 59 for the right baseline. Now a dozen, and he is red hot. Osby loses the handle. Double. Rejected out of bounds. Maryland basketball. A rush back from a 10-point deficit. And the number one team in the nation... Knotted up with Maryland at 59. Ten and a half to go. Here's Gist right baseline. 
Soft touch. Tough angle there along the baseline. Gets the carom, the shooter's touch. Washington playing with three fouls. Gifts now. 18. Thompson comes up, forces one against Gist. Put back on the other side. No, battle for the rebound, and Gist has it. It's for men only under the glass in this matchup. Well, Maryland has really held their own in the paint. That's the key to the game. Coming in, North Carolina plus 11 on the boards against opponents. Osby wants it low, and a foul is going to be called on Hansborough on the entry pass. Green checks in. Milburn cuts free. And he is fouled. Good execution on the baseline out of bounds play by the Terps. Well, that's the Saturday night movie of the week, The Terminal with Tom Hanks and Catherine Zeta Jones. 8 7 Central. And that's coming up tonight on ABC is. Milborn steps to the free throw line here in Chapel Hill. Maryland 61, Carolina 59. We saw Maryland dominate this game. Now we've seen the counter punch by North Carolina with their power surge to crawl back into this game. The key for Maryland now, not to panic, show poise, continue to execute the game plan you came in with. Sometimes through the course of the game, the team will get away from the devised game plan the coaching staff put in place. Green's three. No, battle rebound, Osby. Vasquez eyes the floor. I'm just going to say, Brent, he has excellent vision. So important for a quarterback in football, a point guard in basketball, to see the entire floor. Tucker, short. Let Ginyard. Ginyard drives in. Saves it. Hands bro and one. The one thing that Coach Roy Williams told us about Hands bro, when he gets the ball down low, he thinks score first. Then if he gets the foul, he says, oh, you want me to shoot one? Fine. But what a lot of players don't think when they get it in low like Hansborough does, when he finally takes this down, is I'm going to score first. I don't care who's hanging on me. And that's what Roy said makes his star so effective down low. And then he can add the free throw. Well, because of his great strength, he can take defenders with him up to the rim and still finish. And then the excellent free throw shooting percentage as well. Hayes back on the floor. He's hit a couple of big trays in this game. But here's Melbourne whistled it over everything. And Vasquez, right man in the right spot as far as the Turks are concerned now. 63-62. Vasquez comes on. He's fouled. Ginyard fouled him, put him on a free throw line. And that is the fourth foul on Ginyard. So Roy now will be forced to make a decision. Remember, he's left Lawson on the floor with three, still playing. Thompson's up. He'll check back in. Maryland looks a bit gassed, which is understandable. Some heavy minutes, an emotional game, playing the number one team in the country. I felt on that last possession, they lollygagged short leg a little bit themselves. But again, North Carolina came out of the locker room with more of a sense of urgency. I think the Tar Heels have answered the bell in terms of Roy Williams' directives. Number one ranking on the line. 64-62, 18-point underdog. Maryland leads it by a deuce with 8.38 to go. Pull up by Ellington, yes. The Duke knocks it down. <laughs> Making sweet music. Yeah, that was. String music. 38 point baby. Shred the nets. In the right part of the country for that, too. Not that right. Here's Neal on the entry pass. Not a threat. Hayes, open three. Won't rattle down. Snapped off by Green. Heels try to press it. Snap inside. Hansbrough's coming again. Not this time, but Thompson on the other side was clear. 
And they Carolina 66, Maryland 64. The last lead for the Heels, 28-27. Well, Gary Williams with the dilemma here as they go down low to Osby. Good finish. Takes the hit, absorbs the contact, and still goes through to the deuce. Head locked at 66. 7.40 to go. Hansborough left alone, wants to come to the baseline short. And into Neal's hand. Not a good shot by Tyler. He's gassed too. Pulling on his jersey, putting the fist up. So Roy Williams going to sub, put Stevenson in the game. Both these teams fatigued, worn out. They're going to get the TV timeout. Well, we got two coaches named Williams. Where in the world did Williams come from? Let's check it out. Whoa, I didn't see that coming. It's a crunchy hot wing with no sauce. But it's still got all the kick. It's sauceless and crunchy, it's amazing. In a split second, everything that I knew about hot wings has changed. In this new wing world, anything is possible. Will you go out with me? Yes. Didn't see that coming. Crunchy on the outside, spicy on the inside. The sauceless hot wing is at KFC. Get a bucket of 20 or try six wings for $2.99. Only at KFC. This. Is it for all of us? Yeah. Sixteen hundred for a week? Well, we can do that. Oh yeah. The magic begins when you realize you can afford a Disney vacation. Other affordable packages all year long. Visit DisneyWorld.com slash affordable. Like Zoinks, it's the cable guy. Chinkies. Well, now that DirecTV has way more HD channels than cable, it's no wonder the cable guy tried to stop everyone from switching to DirecTV. And I could have got away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids and your dog. Scooby Doo! <laughs> Hook up your new flat screen to over 85 of the best HD channels. Call 1 800 DirecTV. So here you are, a little confused. Did you think the road to retirement was an expressway? Come on, this isn't some random road trip. Your dreams are out there somewhere. somewhere. You can't start this journey without knowing where you're going. You, my friend, you need a plan. Find out why more people come to Ameriprise for financial planning than any other company. Visit us at Ameriprise.com slash plan. ESPN's College Basketball on ABC, presented by KFC, brought to you by EAS. Don't waste your work. We are back in Chapel Hill, where North Carolina was held to 35% for the field in the first half, but they have been blazing away in the second. They've hit 50%, 12 of 24, as Tyler Hansbrough takes a break. Hayes is on the free throw line. This is a one and one. Big front end. Seven points off the bench. Remember he missed the three because of the high ankle sprain. Didn't think he was going to be able to play. Coach didn't think so. And today they put it in and said he could go. It's a nice job there teeing it up as he makes the back end. So Lawson on the floor. Stevenson. Ellington, Hansborough's break is over. In low to green, traveling, turnover. And Tyler Hansborough checks right back in the game for Roy Williams. Roy Williams not happy with that call, challenging the ref. Said he was lobbying pushed. on the sideline, yep. 68-66. Steve, how many number ones had Gary Williams picked off in his Maryland career? Six. He's going for the Super 7. Today at Chapel Hill. More than any coach in the country. Of course, he's in a conference where a lot of teams are number one from time to time. Vasquez misfiring left. Here come the heels now, Ellington. Now, poor possession. Bad shot selection by Vasquez. One of the few mistakes he's made this afternoon. Misfiring. And Thompson, he's done that a couple of times today on Green's miss. He cleans it up. 
and deadlocks the score at 68. A fortuitous bounce for North Carolina. Walker just couldn't secure that ball. Gist is going to back it down. Push it a little hard into Green's hands. Thompson three on the left side, and Ellington fires a three, and this time Vasquez is there. Headman just finishes. Ellington let him get a step on him. 20 points for Gister today. And again, the vision of Vasquez in the open floor, eye contact, and the throw ahead to Gist for the flush. Left baseline, no, not there, but tap back again. The offensive putback for the Tar Heels. Open man is Melbourne, blocking foul against North Carolina. So, we ask you about the name Williams. Let's take a little look at it. The origin, old French given name, with Germanic elements. Will Desire, well, these two guys have got Desire. How about Helm for helmet and protection? You know, that would be defense, the way these two guys coach, huh? That's the origin of the name Williams. Now, how many Williams are there in the United States? Let's take a look at that. Melbourne adding the free throw. Certainly one of the most common names, but it is not the most common. No, it isn't. There's your top five. More Smiths and more Johnsons. And how about the Joneses and the Browns are in a dead heat for fourth? Come on, get working out there. And there's no <laughs> Musburgers or Lavins in the top 300. <laughs> that is the truth, Led. It was nice to have a couple of the Williams gang here today. I got to go with Ted Williams. He makes my list. I'm sorry? Ted Williams? Oh, He's got to yeah. make the list, right? Sure. We've got some notables for you. Here's Lawson. North Carolina, excellent free throw shooting team. Shooting 75% on the year. That's going to be a pivotal factor coming down the stretch. Who converts from the foul line? Lawson off to the right and into Osby's hands. Maryland leads at 72-70. We have moved inside the magic five-minute mark. I'd like to see Maryland get four or five touches, Brent. They don't have to force the action. Back Final to time. Osby. He's played very well. Here's Bowie on the floor. Vasquez is still there, and timeout has been called. Under pressure, Bowie called the timeout. So, okay, now you mentioned Ted, no question. Let me, let me throw out three more, and, and let me ask you a question here now as we... Uh, Take a look. Now, Tennessee Williams, we all know the great player, right? Robin Williams, great comedian. Hiram King Williams, all right? Who is that? Well, you got me stumped. Come on now. You can do it, man. No, you I'm, can. I'm, I'm counting on you. No trivial pursuit huh? today. We're locked in. Now, let me see if I can give you a, a tip. The great theme of Monday Night Football. This is the daddy of the wow. singer. Come on now. The daddy of the singer. You got me stunned. You got me stunned. <laughs> Come on now. You, can, you, got, I, you got me stunned. I know you can get it. Uh, you got me. It's a breaking, achy break. Yeah, what's the achy break? Your heart? What was he saying? Are you ready for some football? Are you, yeah, come on. <laughs> Are you ready for some football? Hank Williams Sr. Oh, shit. All right. Country <laughs> Western. <laughs> the you Montana. Know, I, I, mean, a cowboy. I should have known. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go Vanessa Williams. <laughs> Coming down, Melfort <laughs> picks it up now. And here comes Tyler Hansberry. All right, here we go. 72-70 now. Heels are down a deuce. We're coming down to 420 here. Graves nails a three ball off the bench. His first shot of the game, the freshman from Greensboro, Will Graves, knocks down a huge hoop here. A little unexpected contributor. Now heat on the Turks. Vasquez turns it over. Graves coming again. Not this time, but he'll track down his own miss. Saved it. Hits Lawson. Lawson's fouled. Bowie fouled it. Well, we're starting to see North Carolina Brent now become more aggressive. So, Roy Williams has come back on Gary Williams.
matter how demanding my workout is, I'm not done until I finish it with EAS Myoflex. Taken within 30 minutes after my workout, the high quality protein in Myoflex helps me refuel and build lean muscle. That way, I don't waste my workout. Now I'm done. Grab your EAS Myoflex at a leading retailer near you, or for your free sample, go to EAS.com. Most people go through life following Plan A. It's predictable, it's expected, it's routine. But what if you're not a Plan A kind of person? Welcome to Plan B from Brother. Our new color laser printers and all-in-ones are for those who make the better choice, not the obvious one. With more performance, more speed, more affordability. So make the smarter decision. We call it Plan B. Brother, at your side. Victoriously. At zero price, successful investing is about balancing risk and reward intelligently. For each three, five, and ten year period, over 70% of our mutual funds beat the Lipper average, finding the right opportunity. Low cost mutual funds from T. Rowe Price invest with confidence. Request a complete prospectus or profile with investment objectives, risks, fees, expenses, and other information to read and consider carefully before investing. Thursday, January 31st, the most amazing season of the most anticipated series begins. We have to go back! Lost, the two-hour premiere event, Thursday, January 31st at 8, 7 central on ABC. Hi, boys and girls, shaping up to be an outstanding day and night of college basketball. Look at the Trojans and Bruins tied at 57 all. Tennessee leading Ohio State by 10. That game had been closer. And K State and AM on ESPN right now locked in a very good one. It's just separated by two. Michael Beasley has got 12. Following that game on ESPN, Kyle Singler leads a balanced Duke team. They take on Clemson, which nearly knocked off Carolina. And Lawson at the free throw line makes his first here, Carl. And it is 74-72. Rims out, Osby. Here come the Terps. And a deuce. Can they tie it? Let's see. That was North Carolina's first miss of the game, Brent. 11 for 12 from the charity strike. Vasquez driving, spinning, comes to the rim. No, but do the foul. Well, how about the KFC hot hand? And certainly we would nominate Will Graves. There's a hottest head coming off the bench and hitting one of the seven trays for the Tar Heels. Graves was redshirted a year ago. So he knew the system, and when the practice started, basically Roy Williams had a very experienced team as Vasquez knocks it down. The toughest break for them is losing backup point guard Bobby Frazier. It means a loss, and he has logged unbelievable minutes today with three fouls as Vasquez comes back and ties it at 74. He now has four fouls after that one right there. So Lawson trying to play out the fans. So far, Roy is not making a move to take him out. He's going to leave him out. 320, play through the fourth. Hansborough. No. Tap. Lawson got it back, comes baseline, cut off. Well, clearly more aggressive, more active on the boards in the second half. Tar Heels playing volleyball. That allows him to get the second shot. But she hands well on the move, a good give up. Vineyard, and there is a foul on the shot. Well, take a look at Hansborough half by half here. And uh, he struggled some, Steve, in the first half. I'm not sure the volume was turned up in the Tar Heel locker room as Roy Williams tried to fire it up, fire up and inspire the troops. Hansborough has responded. Brent, the big four for North Carolina. Hansborough shoots 80% from the line. Ellington, 90%. Lawson, 81. And Green, 85%. That's one of the main reasons Carolina has closed out opponents in close games this year. 3-0 in games decided by eight points or less. Last year, 3-6. and six. They had a propensity to let games get away from them when it was close last year. I think that's a sign of the maturity. Everyone a year older for Roy Williams. 
second. Hansborough yanks back to miss. Huge rebound by Tyler Hansborough. And what a deflating play if you're Gary Williams on the turfs. Takes the wind out of your sails. Ellington puts it down, pull up. No, and Osby lost the handle. They are picking up all the loose balls, the aggressive plays, the hustle plays going the Tar Heels way. Here comes Green. Down baseline and one. The dancing man. Well, Green with a great job. The one bounce able to shield the ball, take the hit, and finish. This is heads up. The quick hot potato pass around the perimeter. The one bounce drive taken right at Osby. Takes the hit, protects the ball by bringing it over to his left hand side and the smooch off the window. A four point North Carolina lead. And that is the Tar Heels' biggest lead of this game. That was a tough sequence for the Terps. Starting to slip away here from the Terps. Vasquez goes one-on-one -on -one and cuts it in half. Back to a deuce. Well, he has a bag of tricks, Brent. Vasquez, both off the bounce, his passing. Shot maker, playmaker, Deluxe. Hansborough wants it. Osby on his hip, denied the entry pass. Green loses control, out of bounds. It goes over. No, it stays right there, okay? Keep it right there. Boy, Gary Williams wants to know why. Take a look at this now. He was tripping. Wow. Wrap around, tap, no, loose. Here's Vasquez. The Terps looking for a tie of the lead. Vasquez wanted to go. Gidman wouldn't give it to him. Good decision. Don't have the numbers. Get into a set. Call from Gary Williams. Osby powers in, goes for the out of bounds, it'll be Maryland basketball. What point blank range of Bunny down low. 126 left in regulation, 78-76. Carolina with a two point lead. They got a reset, fresh start, fresh snow on the clock, no need to force. Vasquez gonna drive on in, he'll be at the free throw line. Foul on the shot. And Green picks up number three. And there, Big Monday presented by Bud Light. Syracuse Georgetown at seven, followed by North Carolina and Connecticut. So the Tar Heels play Connecticut of the Big East. That's on Big Monday. Vasquez with a chance to tie it on the next free throw. Vasquez, a cool customer, only a sophomore, that ice in his veins. Deadlock at 78. North Carolina, unbeaten in rank number one with a minute 19. Lawson playing with four fouls. Hansborough being guarded by Osby. Green with that quick first step comes in. Osby takes him, battle back, no. And Maryland rebounds it, and they're fouled. A little dipsy do. Gisk was fouled. That's Green's number four now. So there are your three undefeated. All right, Carolina in trouble here. Not thinking about Miami right now. Memphis and Kansas, the other two. 106 left, Steve. Well, we talked about the importance of free throws and how often do we broadcast games together. I know in the 15 years as a coach, the determining factor the majority of the time is from the free throw line in late game situations. Who converts and who doesn't? Like putting in golf, the difference maker. Yeah, it's a very good comparison, Steve, between the short uh, game. Yeah. And there's heat on these guys when they step in the line all alone. It's like when you step over those six, seven, eight footers, man. Here we go now, 105, 80, 78. Turks are up by two on number one. I imagine Tyler Hansborough at least gets a touch on this possession. Doesn't have to shoot it. You see him working down low, trying to establish position on Osby. Muscle, double, up the tying hoop. And 
no foul. Hansborough, wow, 17. He went through a double team on that, but because of his great low post position at point blank range, he's able to finish. Timeout. 30 seconds. Gary Williams wants Hayes back on the floor on this offensive set. Now here's Roy. That's a good stance there. Look how low the ground he is. Talk about a defensive back. Impressive. Maryland here, Brett, has to get James Gist a touch. Don't have to force, but play through him. He'll draw defenders. You can play off of his touch. So there's a uh, program reminder for you. The season premiere, Thursday, January 31st. It's two hours. Starting at 8, 7 Central. Some will leave the island and some will not. <laughs> I think those writers on those promos stay awake at night thinking of things to say, huh? I'm glad you didn't put it on me. <laughs> didn't blame it on me. Hank Williams, come on. I got a bone up on my country western, there's no <laughs> doubt. After all the miles we put in together, if you blare that country western music, check the scores throughout the country. I can't believe I didn't have that. Watch Hansbro here on his last play now. Well, he's got the great low post position, used the two bounces, the help comes, but he's still able to make the weight room shot, the muscle. 43.4 seconds left. Maryland out of timeouts. Carolina with three. So whatever information Gary passed on, they're gonna have to carry it the distance here. The shot clock is at 25. Kiss needs a touch. Crowd on its feet. Pick and roll, Osby and Vasquez. There's Gist. Ten on the shot now. Loads the post, Osby! Maryland leads it. 20 seconds now for Carolina. Number one trails it by two. Ellington snaps it, rattles out, put back, no. Battle for the ball, and it out of bounds. And it goes over with 10.7. 10.7 seconds. And Tar Heels will talk about it right now. Well, give Gary Williams high marks. His team in position to win against the number one team in the country on the road. And his last offensive possession, Brent, was textbook. They got excellent ball movement. They get just a touch after this high pick and roll between Osby and Vasquez. They come back. It's high-low. Osby with the pin and seal to sit down like a sumo wrestler and able to finish with the left. Now watch this at the other end, Steve. Ellington took the first shot, the free throw line as he moved just behind the circle actually, then that battle in underneath. And the ball goes over at 10.7 seconds. Well, the obvious print is to have Tyler Hansbrough involved, but Carolina could use him as a decoy and have some action for Lawson and Ellington because obviously they're going to load up on Mr. Hansbrough. Here's another angle of what happened in underneath. They try to tap it back. Ooh. I'm Off telling you, I, I thought when I looked at it live that Carolina had hit it. Now from that angle, though, off Carolina. Big break. Oh, huge break in this game. That's a huge break. Let's see if the Tar Heels can make it work in their favor. Lawson will take it out of bounds. 10.7. Deep pass. Here's Ellington. Coming through the lane. Fire up. No. Battle for the rebound. Ball down in the corner. 1.7 seconds, and the arrow gives the ball back to the heels. Holy Toledo. One more shot coming up. Now, let's go back to the Clemson game here, Coach. Well, these are the close ones that Carolina has pulled out this year, unbeaten, on the road in a tough place. Lawson's going to deliver the ball to Ellington, almost picked off, but Silky Smooth buries it, bottoms of the net. Tar Heels 
continue their pursuit of perfection. Now, tell me something. How much do you extend the defense here on this inbound pass? Well, I think you're close enough to contest a jump shooter, but also able to help to the post to hands bro. You don't have time. Only a one bounce pull up if you're on the perimeter or direct pass into hands bro down low for a game winner or a game tire. On the game tire if you get low. But they could go for the winner from the outside. Yep. So you defensively got to be close enough to show on screens, contest the jump shot, but also ready to collapse like an accordion or the Venus flytrap around the big man. Let's see where Hansborough sets. All right, he's going to step outside the three-point line to take the pass. Step two for the three. No, no, enough sets. North Carolina, there will be a new number one next week. Seven victories over the number one team in the country by Gary Williams in his remarkable career. An amazing performance here, and Maryland moves to 12 and 7 on the season. Two and two in the ACC. And North Carolina now 18 and 1 after being stunned by the Tokes. A good look. We talked about the one bounce. Of course, you'd like to have Wayne Ellington take that shot, but give Maryland credit. Choking the outlets, choking the lead passes. And Hansborough with the look. No good. You can see the looks of anguish here in Chapel Hill as the Turks file off the floor with a huge win. Coach Gary Williams did a magnificent job in preparing this team and getting them ready. Vasquez was the ringleader, ran the point. Vasquez with 11 assists today to go along with his 12 points and six rebounds. So Carolina will regroup and start another string, no doubt. But their unbeaten record of this year has fallen by the wayside. Maryland 82, Carolina 80. As Coach Gary Williams came in here, an 18-point underdog. And Gist was another one of his leaders with 22 points and 13 rebounds. And speaking of Coach Gary Williams and the point man Vasquez, let's go to Steve Lavitt. Steve? With Gary Williams, your seventh win over a number one team in the country throughout your career. You've got the magic formula. Talk about preparing your team for this game and their collective mindset coming into Chapel Hill. Well, the one thing with guys like Gravis, uh, you can beat them, but you're not going to make them go away. And they're going to come back the next game or whatever and just get ready to play. And I think the only thing we try to do uh, for every game is just prepare what we do well. You know, don't try to make a lot of changes. You know, you have to do some things like to help on Hansborough or whatever. But we don't change the basic way we play. We try to run. We didn't press as much as we normally do because of Lawson. But, you know, basically we try to play our game. What was your defensive focus on Tyler Hansbro and Ty Lawson? Magnificent job in preparing this team and getting them ready. Vasquez was the ringleader, ran the point. Three in Cleveland. The following is a special presentation of ESPN on ABC. In the life of